always have an intro before the thing. What thing? Well, you know, the dun, 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 dun. Oh, God. And I fall Arr. down and I, yeah. I'm, I'm all drunk. Ting. Yeah. 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 What are we going to do this time? I got nothing. Hmm. I'm usually the strong, silent types. You're usually the one that talks, so I always just, like, punctuate with funniness. When's that going to start? Once again, to the Rural Gerbury Tour. Mediocrely said. I think I did it great. Mediocrely is not a word. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm Jay. I'm Seth. And today we're going to New England, which I just recently found out is not an American state because I don't study the American states. Yeah, it's, it's it, actually a, connect, a collection of six. Yes, I'm aware. Oh, yeah. I found that out literally recently. Yeah, it's like Vermont and... and uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. yeah. Uh, Keep going. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Go on. Maine. Uh-huh. Rhode Island. Patriots, Connecticut. Connecticut. <laughs> yeah. Vermont. So regardless, there's a style of IPA that's come out of that region called the New England IPA. And that's what we're drinking tonight. Yeah. Nipa. Nipa. Sometimes called East Coast IPAs. So that's right. Yeah. Right. But tonight we're just drinking ones that call themselves New England. No, no identity confusion going on for them at least. And we're going to start tonight with a beer from a brewery that's brand new to me. This is Etc. A double dry hopped Nipa from Flux Brewing. Flux Brewing, yeah. I this is from a road trip I recently did. I'm excited for this one. I haven't had this one yet. I'm looking forward to it. Nipa yeah. is one of my favorite styles. Mine too. I got a little bit of haze in there, and that's, that's not really uncommon good. with the New England IPA. You yeah. often get those hazier IPAs with that yeah. style. Yeah, not super hazy. No, certainly not. No, but just no. Just a little bit of haze, nice white head, dissipating pretty quick. Yeah, decent yellowish color. It's, it's a, it's almost like uh, the color of beautiful blonde hair. Do you know what that looks like? I used to. Um, and there's a little bit of action inside the glass, not too much. Mm. Did you just drink? Nope. Mm, I was just <laughs> smelling. It's a really good smell. Uh huh. Mm, good. I love the smell. Describe of that. it. Use words. Oh, it's good. It smells good. Mm. I'm getting a lot of citrus <laughs> fruit off the smell, some tropical smell to it, hint of dank to that as well. This is yeah. really nice. Yeah, there's a little bit of pineapple in there, I, I smell. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, very nice. And, and I think I want to say pine, but I'm not really getting that piney smell. Oh, okay, let's move on to drinking now. <laughs> let's move on. Let's start drinking right now. Now. Right now. Hang on. Let's do that. I poured even. I, oh, big gulps. Yes. Big gulps. I'm a gulper. Yeah. You know, there's there's a little bit of the pineiness from the West Coast idea, but very much citrusy, very fruity. It's a nice balance between bitterness and citrus, I find. I find it a very smooth taste across the tongue. This is not creamy, but it's just a nice smooth uh, texture mm-hmm. on the tongue. I'm not getting any dominant, dominating flavors. I'm getting the citrus. I'm getting the the, the hop. I'm getting it's very hop forward, and the finish is bitter. <laughs> But it's not an overpowering uh, NEPA. And I truly love strong, powerful yeah. well, IPAs. And this one is a double dry hop. So it should be, like, there should be a good amount of hops in there. It certainly is. And yet it's so balanced. Yeah. yeah. It's really pleasant. Yeah. Like you said, there's that citrus kind of hop in there. There's a, there's a little bit of dankness. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't say what kind of hops they're using in here. But I'm sure the internet says so. Yeah. Or we could just ask them when we're there next time. But yeah, that'll, that will make it to edit. No, obviously. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Unless, do you want to edit this episode? No. Okay. okay. Didn't think so. Good. That was a great start. I, I really like that. You're going to like this one even better. Really? Yes, because this one is free. Comes from a viewer. Free is my favorite flavor of beer. Absolutely. This comes from Steve in London. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, thank you for bringing this. So this is from Fenelon Falls Brewing Company. Obviously, their New England IPA. Um, oh, that pours an apricot color. Really? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, very nice. Check that out. Very hazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not much light getting through there. Uh, oh, fine, no, wow. bubbly head to that one. Yeah, very, very. You're right, hazy. And as I said, apricot color. Okay, I'm not getting the same nose off this one as I did the last one. No. Much gentler on the uh, on the nose. Very there. subtle. Yeah. 
I'm still getting light citrus. I'm still getting lighter hop, but I'm not getting as much of either. I will say that I'm getting some apple and, uh, and light pineapple. Okay, cool. Oh, that's a little tangy here. Oh, it's very tangy. Mm -hmm. Oh, lots of hops too. Wow. That's really that's a... activating the front of my tongue with the sourish kind of taste that's there. Very bitter finish on it. Very. What a different experience from the last one. Far more front of wow. tongue, a uh, little less in the nasal after you sip it. That's kind I'm of I'm finding there's nice. really, there's two big types of hop. There's the really light citrus, and then there's the deep, dark, dank. And I'm finding there's a, a big, a big wide variety of hops in this. But I'm also getting a lot of apricot. Are you really? I'm getting it at the back center of the tongue there, and it's it's really mm. pleasant and soft and round. And you can miss it if you're not paying attention to it, because that that tongue activation at the front, that that tanginess, kind of distracts you right away. And then the hoppiness comes through. And unless you're looking for that apricot at the back. You're not going to catch it. I almost think that it, that for me, that's almost a creaminess. Because I'm focused back there, I'm, I'm ignoring the experience up front and up top, and I'm getting that, and I'm, I'm just like, oh, there's so many different angles to this. I'm also getting bitter at the back sides of the mouth, or yeah. of the tongue there. It's really quite an experience. It's a good beer. This one is, I think, for me, is a little bit more aggressive with the hops. And that's okay, because this is the kind of aggression I expected on the last one, which was a much softer, gentler approach to the Nipah. This one is, is right there, right up front, hop forward, tang right there at the tip of the tongue. And then when you look for those fruit undertones, they're there and they're really present and they're well situated, but kind of taking a back seat yeah. to those other flavors. It's certainly juicy and it has all of that there, but it's maybe on the outer cusp of what I what I want to crush from my knee. This is not no 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 this is not a crusher. No 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 I, this is a tasting experience. This is a and that's what I'm saying. Give me a unique opportunity to experience a different yes. take upon uh, the New England IPA. And and I get that it says an IBU of 50. It has a lot of bitterness to it. Mm -hmm. um, so this is not for the faint of heart. That tang, that bitterness, the hoppy flavors, this is an aggressively flavored beer that has a lot of subtlety you can miss unless you're looking for it. Yes. I really appreciate that. If you think of a softer, gentler meat, but this is not your beer, but if you want something that is a bit more aggressive, this is totally it. This is a flavor you remember. Oh yeah, this is The one. next day, and the next day, and the next day. Yeah. Far too often we have these easily forgotten flavors. Mm -hmm. This is not one of them. This is something that will stick with you because yeah. it's just, it's such a different take on the Nipa, and I've drunk a lot of Nipas in my life. Really? A lot of them. This is excellent. This is such a challenge to the genre. It broadens it, but still brings refinement to it. I can't speak higher than this. This is excellent. Okay, so after that last one, it's gonna be tough to stand up. And yeah. it's no fault of whatever we do next. It's just that last one, very aggressive flavor. So yeah. I have high hopes, but we'll see where this goes. Absolutely. Yeah. So up next, we have Fresh Start, which is probably what I need in so many places in my life. And this is from McKellar, Copenhagen, which is not in Copenhagen. Like Denmark? I would assume. That looks nice. Wow, look at the color. Very nice and hazy. Really deep white head, even on yours, even on the oh, second Oh, look door. at them bubbles, eh? Yeah, yeah. really nice. But yeah, uh, very translucent and it poured like orange juice. It was really nice to see that bubble up from underneath. It looked like pulpy orange juice. It's not, but it looked like it. And now it's kind of, <clears throat> just kind of solidified into this whitish oh, wow. orange color. And it looks really nice. Wow. I'm getting lots of lemon off the smell, which you're not talking about. You're skipping right to the drinking, but it does smell. You're gonna like cut this lemon. shit anyways. I'm not gonna cut that. It's got quite a lemony smell to it. You really? That? No. That's because you already had some to drink. <laughs> no. Maybe if you smelled it first, you'd pick up on I'm it. I'm not getting lemon. It doesn't matter. You already tasted it. You're right. That You've already it. clouded your sense of smell. Mmm. Lots of earthy hops. A little bit of citrus. I get a little um, bit of syrup sweetness to it. Yeah, there's something else in there. What? 
I'm telling you, I'm getting a little bit of syrup sweetness to that. Mm -hmm. Touch of mango. I think that's it. I think it's, yeah, mango, papaya, that kind of thing. You're right. Yeah, Here, that's very nice. Here's the problem. I think I'm just a fan of the style. Yeah. I'm a big fan of the New England IPA style. I like the juiciness, the hoppiness, the bitters, the, the color, the, sh the shades that you get, the, the, the dankness. I love all of it. Yeah, they're just a very drinkable style. Even for, for people that are not craft beer drinkers, I think there's enough juice in these that, that will keep people coming back. I love Nipos, man. Dude. I'm just so happy we did this. I've been looking forward to this episode so much because I love this style. This is my wheelhouse. This is like... This I, thought, is where I, I thought Sour IPs was yeah. your wheelhouse. This is where you live. I have a big wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny house, big wheel. Big wheel. Yeah. Well yeah. said, man. <laughs> Speaking of well said, yeah. thanks so much for watching the Rural Jura Brewery Tour. Meh. I'm Jay. I'm Seth. Catch us next time when we try a whole bunch of more beers. Make sure you like and subscribe below. And go to the website, RuralJurBreweryTour.com. You bet. There's lots of stuff there. The beer blog. Yeah, else? there's lots of stuff there. There's lots of stuff there. There's Shopping. Like, there's there's more than that, too. Yeah, there's lots of stuff. Like what? Shopping. You already said Beer that. blog. He's already said Episodes. That. All the episodes. All the episodes. All there the you episodes. Go. And you can go. contact us there as well. Absolutely. You know, Sponsor cause... the show. You yeah. can sponsor the show. Buy us a beer. Like Steve did today. Steve was so good to us today. Man, that was good. Thanks, Steve. Good man, Steve. Good man. All right. See you later. Bye bye. Cheers. You know, clean beer. Mm. And they, they, they're like, yeah, I like that. So most of the We're going to beg to differ. Oh, that's fine. Hey, tell you what. You settle it for us. Yeah. If you are not a craft beer drinker, but you watch our show, first of all, what the hell? Secondly, yeah. thank you. And thirdly, oh, right. thank you. comment yeah. below that. If you're not a craft beer drinker, do you like these aggressive, hoppy um, IPAs? And if so, Seth's right. And if not, this guy. That's me. It's both J. Thanks, Mom, for commenting. Uh, mine won't. <laughs> I'm a gulper. Yeah. <laughs>